So you know what that means. We are looking to get another furry friend a happy, healthy home. With us is Cody of the Humane Society of the Pikes Peak Region. This is Luna. Tell us everything you know about Luna. <laughs> so Luna is about a one-year-old uh, brown and black uh, pity mix. And as you can see, she is very oh playful. No. I actually We're just threw that off the set. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, we got more toys. But um, yeah, so she came in as an owner surrender. And now we're looking to find our new home that can hopefully keep up with our energy levels and our excitement because we are very happy to meet new people today. She's very... Uh, she needs so walks and snuggles probably. She'd be a yes. great dog to take on the Manitou incline, something like that. <laughs> well, it's funny you say that because literally in her notes, it does say that she loves snuggles Aww. and she loves attention of all sorts. Oh my gosh, and she is me. <laughs> me too. And in the winter time, if you have a heated blanket, that's the easiest way to win her over because she is a big fan of the warm spots and, and all the cuddles and all the coziness that comes with the winter season. Um, is she good with it, kids? What's what's the tea with kids? What's the key with uh, other dogs? So you know? I don't know if she's lived with other kids um, or how her experience would be there. She's very sweet, so I could see her her doing good um, with slow introductions uh, with other dogs. She sees your phone her, back there. She's trying to get to your phone. Well, I'm hiding the treats too, oh, so that's why we're all over the place. Um, but so in her previous home, she did live with another dog, and she did well. Um, at the shelter, she has been a little nervous meeting other dogs, so we just That's recommend, fair. yeah, we just recommend slow introductions. But other than that, I mean, this is a sweet girl that loves pets behind the ears. We love treats and we love tummy rubs. So October is Adopt a Shelter Dog Month. Yes, so that's uh, a really big month for us because you know we we adopt out a lot of dogs. So last year uh, we adopted out over 5,400 dogs, um, and one of the things that you know, people don't always think about is that when dogs come into us, most of the time they get surrendered because something changes in the person's life or mm -hmm. in the family's situation or dogs. in their it's schedule. Just, yeah. yeah, it's usually not a behavior thing more than oh, <laughs> like, we, found the oh, treats. we found the whole bag. Yeah, good. We, <laughs> she's a smart girl, too. She knows what's up. Hi. Yes, and now we're getting our cuddles again, too. Just getting but her cuddles in, getting her pets. OK, you so down? you guys are going to open up today at 11. Correct. Come yes. by, see Luna. What's her adoption fee? So Luna's adoption fee is $150, and that includes her vaccinations, her microchip, uh, voucher for a vet exam, and she's already spayed. Um, and one of the things that you know we talk about with October being adopt as uh, a dog month is that that we really have a value in our adoption fee there. So when you go and get your dog spayed or neutered at you know a private vet clinic and you go get their all their vaccinations done and their wellness checkup and all that, that can add up really quickly. It's a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. It, at least. Um, especially now, I know some prices have gone up too. But with our adoption fee of Luna here only being one hundred and fifty dollars, we think you know that's a steal for a great dog like this that is only one years old and is going to give you a lot of love. Yeah, she's so cute. Okay, Cody, thank you for being here. Luna, best of luck on finding your family journey. <laughs> We've got a look at more news, weather, and health.